This is Dr. Sirisha working as an associate professor in Institute of Aeronautical Engineering College. Today we are going to learn about how to search an element in a single linker list. I am going to explain you this uh, by giving a brief introduction on what a linker list is, how a single linker, linker list can be constructed and how to search with the help of a few animations and Python code. right? So let's look at the linked data structure. Linked data structure is a linear data structure where the items are related to one another in one to one cardinality. But the basic difference between an array and linked list will be in arrays, the elements are stored in consecutive memory locations, but whereas in a linker list, the data is not stored in contiguous memory location. They are scattered all over the memory, but they hold one another by storing the address of the next element. And these linker lists are in three different categories, single linker list, double linker list, and circular linker list. Single linker list, have a look. Every element is linked to the next element. See here, you can see that 5 is linked to 10, 10 is linked to 15, and 15 is linked to 20. You can see that it runs only in forward direction, unidirectional. That itself is the drawback of single linker list. But for simple implementations, it is very good. Okay data is and here you can see that what does the second part in the node the second part is the part which holds the address of the next node so as i said only we can navigate in forward direction to traverse in the reverse direction uh, we are going to work with uh, or we have extended the definition of the node by converting that into a double linker list have a look at this one double linker list we can uh, run forward as well as backward also because here every node holds the address of its next node and the previous node also so double linker list have the privilege to run forward as well as reverse direction coming to circular linker list it is an extension of single linker list where you can see that the last node holds the address of the first node. The last node holds the address of the first node. That is the advantage of circular linker list. That means if you are at the last node and you want to access the first node element, you need not go for, you will not start working from the scratch. By simply holding the address of the first node, you can run from the last node to the first node. That is nothing but a circular linker list. It's the beauty of uh, uh, the circular linker list, which overcomes few disadvantages of single linker list. Okay, then let's understand how a single linker list is designed. It is designed based upon a node. A node is nothing but uh, uh, it is a, it is a, it it's just like a variable. Bluntly saying, it is a variable, right? Uh, Purely, it is not a variable. It is, a, it is a node which have two parts. One is a data part and the other is a link part. Link part is nothing but the pointer part which holds the address of the next node. Right? So, every node will hold the address of the next node. Thereby, they uh, start running from a uh, one node to the, we can hop from one node to the other node to access the data. If you reach a node whose address part, that is the link part, is saying uh, null or none, it depends upon the language, programming language you are using. If it holds null or none, you can say that it is the last node. Because it, as it is not holding any address, as it is not holding any address, then you can simply say that there is no element after it. So it is the last element, obviously. Okay. And and the one more important point is uh, head or start. 
this is a terminology guys or you can even call it as a stack it depends upon different books view different books and different sites use different terminologies few use head few use stack it is nothing but a pointer it is a pointer variable which holds the address of the first node that is one of the limitations of linked list my dear in arrays we need not always access the elements starting from the first element if you know the index value of any element you can straight away go and fetch it you can change it whatever operation you want you can insert delete you can update it anything you can do but here linked list they do not work based upon index values because they are not stored in contiguous memory locations that is the point right so whatever operation you want to do you want to insert delete or set you have to start with the first element only and the address of the first element will be stored in the head or the stack point okay the only thing that we have in our hands is the pointer this pointer head or stack pointer in our hands that is the address of the first one only with that we can pull the chain of linked list okay so these are the brief terminologies which we are going to use in single linked list right coming to the creation of an array how to create a node so with the help of python i'm going to leverage the object oriented uh, topics or concept of python classes i'm going to use so class node the constructor of it takes data as the parameter and that in these two data and the next are its members a member variables where data is going to take the value of data and the next will be initialized with none why because when you create a node it is not linked to any other node and we do not even know whether a list exists or not right so when you create a node we mark its next that is the address part with none saying that there is no uh, next element to it if you want store it and make it one of the bit in your chain right so this is the this class node will just have a constructor to create a node all the remaining concepts i am going to use the class linked list whose constructor will go with only the start start pointer is nothing but the one which holds the address of the first node initially there is no linked list created so it is filled with none right guys yes let's start have to create so this is the create function to create a single linked list so i have taken say if there are three elements i have for three elements i am going to read the data and going to create the node okay i'm going to i'm going to create an object new node right so new node is nothing but the object of class node right object of class node so constructor will be invoked and the data whatever you are going to pass it as a parameter to the constructor will be placed in that new node so i have to create i have two cases my dears a case where the linked list does not exist and the case where a handful of elements are there you are going to add one more element to the list so these are the two cases so i have to bifurcate between these two so the case where the linked list does not exist and it is clearly evident that start is still none it is not holding any address if start is none then that itself tells you that there is no linked list existing then make the new node as the first node so start is going to hold the address of the right coming to the second case where you have handful of element right guys i am going to use the i am going to insert any element and at its tail part right as the last one so let the name temporary be given to the first node 
and I'm going to take the hop while Luke is for that sake. I'm going, I don't know which note is the last note. So I'm going to take the hops. I'm going to I'm take I'm going to check whether the temporary next part is none or not. Until unless I reach that note whose next part is none, I'm going to take the hops by using the code temp is equal to temp next. Once I reach the last node, I'm going to build a relation between the last node and the new node by storing the new nodes addressed in the temporary next. Right? This is how I'm going to create a single linked list. Now, look at the small animation of the scene. If my start is none, then once in the first case, whatever the new node I'm going to create and call for its address is stored in start so if you look in a forward direction so to access this uh, liquor list i have only start address in my hand so at location 2000 you can find a node right so let's go with the second case inserting a node at 10 right so this is the existing list so as i want to uh, insert uh, the new node as the tail element, that is the last tail element, I'm going to take the hops. So I have taken the hops from the first node to the second node. In the second node, you can clearly see that its next part is none. As its next part is none, I've stored the address of the new node in uh, the next part and thereby have established the relation between the temporary and the new node and we have inserted an element in the tail part of the existing link list. This is how I am going to create. Then let us go for searching an element. Okay, this is the task which we are supposed to do. Right? So this is the list which is having 21, 22 and 23 and the key or the element which I want to search for is 23. Right? You have to search. Very simple guys. So make uh, the start as the the first one, first element. So it is that. So compare, compare the content of uh, 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 temporary data, whether it is equal to key or not. If it is not equal to key, take a hop. See, first of all, temp was here. I have compared the data for temp dot data. Is it equal to twenty three or not? No, it is not equal. So I have taken a hop. Temp this temp next. Again, I am going to compare. Temp data, is it equal to key or not? No, it is not equal to key. Temp is going to take a hop. So now, now temp data is equal to key. So job done. I have found it. Okay. So this is uh, the uh, way, way we are going to search an element in single link list. I'll give you a demo of the same using Python. Hello, guys. This is this shell area where we are going to write the code to search for an element in Python. So let me open a blank script. Let me maximize this one, guys. First of all, I'm going to write what is the purpose of my writing the script. Okay. So search an element in single link list. Is the task because anyone, any a novice, if he opens the script, must be able to understand why you have written this program. Okay, so I always start my coding with the driver code, guys. Why? Because I'll take or I'll read all the inputs which are required for my purpose, that is this for the solution of a given problem, and if required. If I use any functions, I'll write the body of that function and thereby I'm going to extend the program and I'm going to add functionalities to it. But I always start with a kick start with my driver. Okay, let's start with the same driver code of uh, the given search function. Okay. So the basically what I'm going to use is uh, I'll take an object of uh, class sll let my class name be sll which i'm going to 
create in the near future okay then with the help of that i am going to call the functions which are required to search right so for that before that i have to create guys and to create a single link list before i search for a single link right right we are, so with the help of the object of the class single link list i have called the create function means it must have the function create very good noted next then i'd love to see how my list looks like whatever the list i have created i would like to see how it looks like right so i'm going to write display function also then then goes with the element which i want to search for for that i'm going to write a search function so to the search function obviously i need to pass a key value which i want to search right so i have to pass a parameter so int of input enter and element to search okay okay within the search function itself i am going to declare the result whether the element is found or not found okay simple guys um i have taken i have created an object of class ssl that is single link list then i have created a, a single link list then i have displayed it then i'm calling a search function to find whether the element which i want is existing or not okay let's start with uh, the class of single link list but before that we have to create a node right write the class for the same class node in which uh, we have to write the constructor self data right so its body will be self dot data is equal to data self dot next is equal to none right so with this class i'm going to just create a node which i'm going to use while creating the link list at each for to create n a nodes i'm going to call the constructor and i'm going to create a node okay so next start with the the class sll okay and the constructor of this one will have only only the pointer variable which holds the address of the first node which is stack self so self dot initially i am going to initialize it with none because no address it is holding right so let's begin our journey with the creating a link list okay so let's write this in create self okay so how many nodes you want read it n int of input enter the number of nodes so how many nodes you want so for all the nodes right in a range of n i'll be reading the data right data is equal to int of input enter and element so i've read the data now i have to create an object to create a new node right new node is nothing but the name of my object node of so by passing the value data as a parameter to the constructor i'm creating an object of class once i have created it i have to link it so as i have created the new node's next part will be none now it is a new born node it is not related to anyone i have to build the relations right so as i said i have two cases a case where list is not existing that is start is holding none and the other case is a case where i have handful of elements let me go with both the cases if self start is equal to none 
that means uh, there is no element yet been or no node in the list itself then you have to do it self dot start is equal to new node right by simply making the first node itself as the first node right else i am going to use the logic as inserting at the end okay guys inserting at the tail remember that so let me name the first element as the first element as a temporary self start okay once i have named it i have to hop till the end money while temp next not equal to none while temp next is not equal to none i'm going to take the hops temp is equal to temp next right temp is equal to temp next once i reach the last node i'm going to build the relation between the last node and the new node so temp next is equal to by storing the address of the new node in the next part of the temp i've built a i have built a relation between the temporary and the new so repeatedly for all the n elements i am going to do the same very simple i have read the number of nodes which i want then i have run a for loop to insert the elements i am continuously reading the data for only for the first case i can say that for the first case if condition will be true because start is is a fresh one its content is none the condition will be true and new node will be the first node for all the remaining n minus 1 cases else part is going to work where i am going to append the element append the element to the single elements right this is how i am going to create well done then i'll go for the next function which is the search function this is the heart of my program that is to search search what do you want to search i just want to check whether a key element is existing or not right so i pass it key as a parameter to the c right so guys even here i have to uh, take the precaution key whether the list is existing or not if it is existing then there is some point in searching for an element if the element if if uh, if it or if uh, the element uh, the list itself is not existing then there is no point in searching right then have to cover that case if self start is equal to none the self start is none that is there is no list present then simply tell the same list is uh, empty and return it's as simple as that right the list is empty and return now start your chain temp is equal to self start where i'm naming the first node with temp then i have to make the hops till i reach the last node so i don't know where the last node is so not equal to none while the temp is not equal to none i'm going to compare with the key element that is the temporary nodes data part with the key element which is in my hands whether they are same or not so to compare i have to take if if temp dot data is uh, equal to key if they if a uh, key then very simple element found great job element found and just return you need not go for searching the remaining list if the element is uh, hit at some random value you need not check for the remaining list element is found give a big clap to yourself and return else if the temporary data is not the key value take a hop what else you can do take a hop money you are uh, trying to run to the next node and check which my while loop is going to do right so temp is equal to temp next while right then now element the else part what it can be it can be the element is not found let me do the same 
else element not found. Right? So, this is the case. And your temp must be temp is equal to out of this loop, right? But every while I'm going to for the if, if the while loop will break once it reaches the end. Until unless then I'm going to check whether uh, this uh, element is there or not. If the element is found, I'm going to print element found and return. If the element is not present, then simply I'm going to say that element is not found. I'm going to take it. Okay, right. So this is done. Then what next? Display. I just want to see how my list looks like, right? So let me display this in. Okay, display. So display is a very simple function. Temp is equal to self uh, stack. As if you want, you, even here you can take the precaution saying that if self start is none, then print the list is empty and return. I have not taken that. I am just uh, writing a simple display function. While temp next is not equal to none. Print the temp data. Right, print the temp data and take a hop. Right, take a hop. And uh, print the last element. The, the last element uh, we have not covered because I don't want the, an arrow mark after the last element. So I have explicitly uh, written or printed the temporary data at the last. So these are the functions which I we thought of writing when we were writing or covering our driver code. One is uh, 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 how to create a list first of all, then how to search an element and how to display. We can still modify this one, guys. If uh, the element, in the search function I'm talking about, so if, uh, it, it, if this is going to run, the while loop is going to run and uh, if the element is uh, not found, when I am going to write this one, I will let me write this element in the else part of my while, right? If the element is, uh, right, if uh, they have reached the last and we didn't return because if condition did execute, then I can simply say that print element not found. This will be beautiful, right? So, we have a deep look into that while temp that is still the last element i'm going to check whether the data part of the temporary is equal to the key or not if it is equal to i'll just say the element is found and i'll come out of the search function with the help of return if the data part is not equal to key i'm going to take a hop as it is a while loop it will again go with uh, uh, checking the condition if it is not the, if the temp is not none, again it will check the data, it will keep on doing. Once the condition fails, the condition present in the while loop fails, it will go to the else part and print that element is not found. Right? So, very good. Let's save it. Okay? So, this is a search function, right? Let's give a relevant name. Search in, in which area? Single link list. Very good. Right, so search SLL is the name which I have given. Okay, let me go through this function for any compilation errors. So syntactical errors, I don't feel so. If at all, my system is going to help me out. Okay, so here it has already said I have not placed equal to it seems. Yes, how many nodes I want? I want five nodes and the elements one, two, three, four, and five. And the elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can see that I have appended. Okay, let me check for an element 2. Yes, element is found. Yes, my job, work is, job is done. And successful run of my 
searching an element in a single nuclear state. Okay, okay, guys, uh, let me go for a case where the element is not found. Okay, so let me go with the same set of elements, five elements, one, two, three, four, five. And let me search for an element six. Element is not found. So both the cases system is working. The program which we have written is simply working for both the cases. The case where the element you are searching for in a single linker list is working and not found is also working. Great job. Have a look at the search function, my dears. This is the heart of the uh, problem solution. That is uh, searching for an element. We have covered all the cases, a case where the list is not existing, nothing to search for. Even that case we have covered. Okay. And I hope you understood the concept of single linker list and a search operation on the same with the help of an animation as well as Python code. Thank you guys. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.